Welcome to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 26 Dependency Injection Demo Continuation. In the previous video, we have seen tightly coupled mechanism or tightly coupled technique. In this video, let us look at the loosely coupled technique. So, we can implement the loosely coupled technique using the dependency injection. For that, instead of creating object inside the class we can take that from the constructor meaning we need to add a constructor parameter and we need to use that parameter here the dependency injection technique will inject the object into this parameter then we are assigning that object into our local variable then we can use that here this is how we can build loosely coupled technique or the dependency injection technique. We are discussing that the dependency injection will inject the object into this parameter. So how that dependency injection knows what object to be injected. So we have three different types of logging mechanisms. Which instance will it inject here? For that we need to configure, we need to register the type of instance we needed for that we need to register the type of instance we wanted if we want to register that in the dependency injection we need to go to program.cs and here builder dot services dot add scope so here we need to we need to give this interface first we are saying whenever this interface is used inside the constructor parameter then what is the type of instance we need to pass this time i wanted to use log to file so if you want to understand this line of code here we are saying to the dependency injection whenever this type is used inside the constructor injection return the instance of this particular type meaning so whenever we are using this interface in the constructor it will return the instance of this particular type log to file type if you want the instance of log to db you need to register like this log to db so if you want the instance of log to server memory you need to register like this whenever wherever this interface is used the dependency injection will create instance for this particular type and it will return that so let us look at the demo for the log to file i have registered the dependency injection here this instance will be returned whenever we are using this interface so here i am logging the simple statement you can notice that in the entire file nowhere we are creating object for this particular logger this particular instance is injected by the dependency injection so we can say this technique as the loosely coupled technique let us rerun this application execute and here we can see the logger method is executing from log to file if we want to use the other logger in the place of log to file suppose if you want to use the log to db in place of log to file we simply need to modify this one log to db one place so if you are using the logger instance in 100 or 200 or 1000 files so you don't need to modify in all those files you just need to modify in this one place so that the dependency injection will create instance and inject in all those areas so that's the concept of loosely coupled technique so now i am using log to db let me rerun this i'm executing this one here we can see this time it is logging from log to db Similarly, we can replace the existing logger with single statement to log to server memory. So that much simple it is even in development or in maintenance. 
if i use loosely coupled technique it is much easier to maintain the project i'm executing it and execute here we can see the log is executing from log to server memory that is how we can implement the dependency injection so we have modified it in a uh, demo controller if you want to modify same thing inside the student can do the same thing like this so you can add the interface and variable parameter you, the instance will be injected into this and you can assign that instance into your local variable and you can start using that that's the dependency injection or the loosely coupled technique in the next video here we are using the default dependency injection provided in web api so if you want to use the dependency injection there are three different types of methods provided add scope add singleton and add transient so there are three different methods provided for dependency injection in the next video we will discuss on this topic so discussing the differences between these three methods